All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy True and Fun, and today's day is Tuesday, November the 24th. So we are a few short days away from Thanksgiving, and here's what today's video gonna be about. So today's video is gonna contain nothing but spoilers in regards to what's coming up for Pokemon Go on Monday, really, November the 30th. So I'm not talking about the whole level 41 to 50 thing because I'm not sure if all that info is out yet. The last thing I seen was uh, what you got to do to reach level 46. After that, it's a complete blur at this point in time because I haven't really looked it up. No, instead, what I'm going to be focusing on are the upcoming platinum medals. So you're probably wondering, what are those? What are you talking about? So within the game, if you go to your basically your profile within the game, you should see a bunch of medals underneath the events that you attended, if you attended any at all. And I'm talking about, you know, catch 300 big Magikarps, catch 300 small Rattatas, catch 300 Pikachus, and things of that nature. And you should either have gold, silver, or bronze medals for those achievements. Well, they're going to add another tier to that, and that's platinum. So if you, for some odd reason, don't want to know what you got to do for each achievement to get platinum, this ain't the video for you, man. This is not the video for you. But if you don't care, knowing that this feature or this, you know, whatever you want to call it, will be in the game starting on Monday, November 30th, then, yeah, this is the video for you. And we can also see, you can see how many platinum medals you currently have right now. So if that update were to come to the game right now, as you're watching this video, would you have any platinum medals? So, me personally, I did this on Thursdays, I'm not Thursdays, last Friday's live stream, because instead of releasing the video, I released two of the live streams, one on YouTube and one on Twitch. And I learned about the platinum medals through that, and it was really the Twitch portion of the live stream where I looked at it and said, okay, where am I at right now And when it comes to me getting a platinum medal for this category? And come to find out that as of right now, I would have 10 platinum medals if that update was out right now. So, let's go over all the Platinum Medals that are coming to the game and what you have to do to get a Platinum Medal for each category. So here we go. So the website we are using here is Eurogamer.net. So they have everything in terms of the activity and what you need to do for the activity to get a Platinum Medal. So we're going to start off with Backpacker, which is basically visit Pokestops. So the highest right now is Go, where you have to visit 2,000 Pokestops. However, in order for you to get platinum, you have to get 50,000 Pokestops. You have to visit 50,000 Pokestops. And where I'm at right now, I'm at 43,509. So, even though that's like 640, 600, no, no, 6,491 Pokestops I have to visit, that's not that hard. I can really accomplish that within a one for calendar year. So, that one I'm not concerned with. I don't have a platinum medal for that now, but by the end of 2021, I should have that platinum. Let's move on. Next up is Jogger. So Jogger, which is the walk long distances, to get a platinum medal that you gotta walk 10,000 kilometers, and I'm currently at 5,677.3. And again, I feel like I can accomplish that within one calendar year, even though I have like 4,300 and 33 no 23 kilometers to go i feel like i can accomplish that within one calendar year let's move on to the next one which is the kanto medal in order to get platinum for that one you have to catch every single kanto pokemon aka gen 1 so you got to have 151 pokemon in the pokedex and i already did that so that's a platinum medal right there so that's one so if you've done this already this should be a, a no-brainer this should be easy for you to accomplish so, along, you know, assuming you took part in getting Mew, and assuming that you caught a Mewtwo and the Legendaries, you should have caught all 151 Pokemon from Gen 1. That would easily get you a Platinum Medal right off the bat. Next is Collector. So you gotta capture a certain number of Pokemon. In this case, you gotta capture 50,000 Pokemon. And where I'm at, I'm at 74,776. So that's another platinum medal for me. And if you if you catch a lot of Pokemon, like you take part in a lot of community days and spotlight hours and raid hours, really community days and I guess spotlight hours, you should have a platinum medal at this point. Especially if you've been playing the game for a long time. So 
50,000 Pokemon cards to get a Platinum Medal. And then maybe you don't have this Platinum badge, depending on where you are. So assuming you have gold, this should be a no-brainer for you to get Platinum, in my opinion. Depending on where you're at at this point in time. Let's move on. Scientists evolving a Pokemon. So the number here is 2,000 Pokemon evolved. And obviously, I'm at, I'm pretty close to 5,000. So that's another Platinum Medal for me. So... This, I, again, I feel like this is another easy one, so you would have to evolve a lot of Pokemon, you know, to be prepared for Go Battle League, PvP, for raids, and whatever the case may be, or because of all those field research or special research tasks you have to do that says evolve certain number of Pokemon. So, that one should be a no-brainer. If not, you can easily get that done, you know, with the Pidgeys, and especially, this is one of the things you would do to get more XP, evolve Pokemon, evolve Pidgeys, evolve Rattatas, evolve Vitos, you get the drill. So, this one is pretty easy to get a Platinum Badge on. Let's move on. Breeder, hatching a certain number of eggs. And you need to hatch 2,500 eggs to get the Platinum Medal, and I'm at 5,641. So, obviously, that's another Platinum Medal for me. This one could go either way. If you're the type of player who... Have no problem spending money on incubators like Pokego 7, for example. You should have this platinum badge already. But if you're one of those free to play players, that's going to take a while. I, I, so I can't say this one is easy because it's really depend on your budget and the type of player you are, whether you're a free to play player or you don't like to spend a lot of money on the game or you don't care, you want to hatch eggs, whatever the case may be. So this one. It depends on your play style. So I can't say this is easy. I can't say it's going to be difficult. It really depends on your play style. Fisherman, capture big magic cards. And the magic number here is 1,000 big magic cards. So I'm currently at 531. I feel like I can accomplish that within one calendar year. And it's mostly because there's a water binome that I can easily get to. Well, not easily get to, but I can get to. And there's going to be a bunch of magic cards spawning there. So, I'm not saying it's going to be easy because you, you, not only are you looking for magic cards, you're looking for big magic cards. So, those XL size magic cards. Now, also, you can get this through trading those magic cards with each other as well. Don't forget about that as well. So, you can collect those and trade them with others to help them out, wherever the case may be. So, and trading probably going to be important anyway, so you might really do it that way. But yeah, I believe I can get this done within one calendar year so by the end of 2021 i would get a platinum medal for that battle girl win a certain number of gym battles you have to win 4,000 gym battles and i'm at 4,566 so that's another platinum medal for me and it depends on the type of player you are if you're concerned about gyms then you should have a platinum medal in this already if not then this might take some time for you. So again, it really depends on the type of player that you are. If you're the type that likes to take part in gym battles and things of that nature. So I can't necessarily, necessarily rather say that this would be easy or not. But yeah, you get the point. Let's move on. Youngster, catch 1,000 tiny Rattatas. And I'm not even close to that. I'm at 355. And this is one of the cases where I don't capture a lot of Rattatas, I'll be honest. So... Now that I see this, I will obviously get back to this. This may take me to the middle of 2021. I'll be honest. This may take me to the middle of 2021 because not only do you have to capture Rattatas, but you have to make sure that they're like extra small, maybe small, I don't know. They have to be, you know, that certain size in order for it to count towards this badge. So yeah, I'm going to say the middle of, not the middle of 2021, middle of 2022. That's probably when I'm going to get a platinum medal for this thing right there. Let's move on to... Pikachu, catcher, send them Pikachu, and again, it's a thousand. Now, this one, this one, I should be able to complete before the middle of 2021. I'm currently at 906, and you need a thousand to get platinum, so I'm basically 94 Pikachus away. Doesn't matter about the size, I'm 94 Pikachus away for getting a platinum medal on this thing right here. So, that's what's up. Johto, so you need to capture a hundred. Johto Pokemon into your Pokedex, and that's what I got right there. ready. So that's another platinum medal right there. So this one should not be hard at all. Again, you attend all the special events, got the legendaries and the mythicals for Johto, which is Gen 2, by the way. You should have this platinum badge already, especially if you've been playing this fun uh, for a long time. 
So this one should be another easy one if you ask me. Next up on the list is unknown. Now I will be, um, I will admit, this would probably be one of the hardest to accomplish because with the unknowns, you have to capture all of them, all 28 unknowns, and I'm currently at 25. So I'm missing three unknowns in order to have the completed decks. And it's really hard because you have to go to events or you have to be lucky and find them in your area. So this one's going to be one of the hardest ones to complete, if you ask me. Unless you go to every single Pokemon Go event known to man. And yeah, I don't think anybody is capable of doing that. So good luck with the unknown scenario folks berry master so feed berries at a gym and you need to put down 15,000 berries at a gym and I'm currently at 6,392 so even though I can be a gym fiend in terms of battling gyms and taking over gyms and holding down gyms and things of that nature I'm not exactly the type who would bury Pokemon at gyms so this one will probably take me to 20 22 in order for me to get a platinum badge for this category right there unless i knuckle down and just bury them like crazy use up all my nanaps and regular raspberries and pineapps and things of that nature then i could probably get that done in the middle of 2022 maybe even before the end of 2021 but at my current pace i'm gonna say 2022 i'm gonna say 2022 is when i would get that joint Gym leader, defend gyms for a number of hours. So you need 15,000 hours at a gym to get platinum bass. And ladies and gentlemen, I basically crushed that one down the water. I crushed this one big time by 100,000 hours. And this is a crazy one because this does not like, cause you know, they, they, you know, they did the gym rework system, you know, already. So when they did the first ever gym rework system, Everything that you've done with gyms prior to that does not count. Imagine that would have counted. I would, believe it or not, I would probably have 600,000 hours minimal towards this badge. So, at, at the most, I probably could have 1 million hours already. I was, I was that serious of a gym fiend back in the day, before the gym rework. I am not joking about that at all. So yeah, but in terms of you, it depends on how active you are with the gyms. If you're not that active with the gyms, then it's like, it could be difficult, but really you have to do some research and you know, involving involve your local area, like, okay, which gym does a lot of people do not like battle over, you know, and which gym do. So you gotta keep that in mind. You wanna hit up the gyms that are not exactly popular so you can get the maximum amount of hours towards this badge. And you can, depend on your, it depends on your local area. Depend on your local area, you can crush this. You can really crush this and get platinum. So that's another platinum for me. So yeah, it depends on your local area, if you ask me. Champion, win raids. You gotta win 2,000 raids. And I'm not even gold on this one. I'm at 949. So this does not count legendary raids. Oh, if it did, this would be a different story. But it don't. It count regular raids. Everything outside of legendary. So I don't even have this gold yet. I need 1,000 to get this gold. So I'm like 51 array. And then you need a thousand on top of that to get it to platinum. So this one will probably take me until 2022, middle of 2022 to be exact, to get platinum on this thing right here. So again, I'm mostly a legendary raider as opposed to a, a raider period. But yeah, there you go with that. Next up is Hoenn. Hoenn is Gen 3. And you got to get 135 of the Hoenn decks uh, a whole Pokemon into your deck, and I'm currently at 133. So I'm missing two Pokemon. I don't know what they are. I could be holding out on that because of community day reasons, or whatever the case may be. I have to see what they are. Or they could not even be in the game yet, as far as I know. I have no clue. So I can't really say for sure where you should be at when it comes to this Pokedex, because I'm not sure what the two Pokemon that I'm missing. I have no clue what they are. Next up is Sinnoh. Sinnoh is Gen 4. So here, you have to have 107, and I'm currently at 101, so the same thing applies here. I don't know what the six are that are missing. Again, I could be holding out because of community today. I could be holding out because they're not in the game yet, as far as I know. So there's that as well. Then we got Unova, which is Gen 5, and you got to have 100 TBC. I have no clue what TBC means, so I have no clue about that one. That one is very interesting if you ask me. So I guess that one is like to be concluded, but I'm currently at 116. So 
Who knows what the number is you have to get to get plot on that one. But I'm at 116. So that's where I'm at right now. Let's move on to Battle Legend. To get platinum, you have to win 2,000 Legendary Raids, and I'm at 2,417. So that's another platinum medal for your boy. And this one, if you're the type of person who likes to do raids, Legendary Raids, you know, you want the Hundos, you want the Shinies, you want the Shundos, this one should be easy for you. This one should be easy for you. But then again, you gotta take into consideration, raiding like that requires you putting money in the game. And if you're a free-to-play player, it's going to take a while. So I can understand how some people could struggle with this one. But if you're the type of player who is willing to put money on the game and you like to do a lot of raids, then you should have, I believe, this at a platinum uh, medal or very close to getting this at platinum. So that's where we at with that. Next up is... Pokemon Ranger. So you gotta complete a certain number of field recess tasks and you need to complete 2,500 to get platinum and I'm coming in at 4,326. So that's another platinum medal for me. So, and with this one, I always, I always do one a day, at least once a day. And then don't forget, you got uh, field recess tasks for community day. You can do those over, well, over, over again. Not, not pick up the same one for the same Pokestop, but you get the point. So there's a bunch of Pokestops near you. You can pick them up and uh, complete them with relative ease. And then, of course, you know, there's the ones that you get because of uh, whatever event going on at the time. So this one I feel like is pretty easy. I feel like a lot of people should get this platinum without question, if, 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 in case you don't have it already. So I believe that one is pretty easy. Idol, become best friends with trainers, and the platinum number is 20. So, I'm going to be honest, I, unless you're relatively new at the game, everybody and their mama should have a platinum medal for this one. I'm at 113, because remember, I think it was last year, I created a goal for myself where I wanted to have 100 best friends by the end of the year, and I get, and I did it, and I'm currently at 113, so I feel like every, like, you should be able to get 20 best friends at this point. So I feel like everybody in their mama should be able to get a platinum badge for this joint. Unless you're relatively new to the game or you start playing the game for a long time and you're getting back into it. Outside of those two, everybody in their mama should have a platinum medal for this one right here. Let's move on to gentlemen. Trade Pokemon. You got to trade 2,500 Pokemon and I'm at 1,162. So I'll be honest, I'm not the type of person who does a lot of trading. But, you know, I had no problem uh, working on that to get this badge. It's probably going to take me until the middle of 2022 at the latest in order for me to get platinum for this badge right here. Pilot, earn a certain number of kilometers across the distance of all Pokemon trades. So, you need 10 million kilometers. And we're going into, you know, distance involvement trades. And I'm at 2 million. <laughs> So, again, I'm the type of person who don't do a lot of trading. I feel like if you do a lot of trading, you should have this platinum. I, I, I could be wrong with that. It, dep it depends on who you trade with often. But I'm 65% I'm certain that if you do a lot of trades, you should have platinum metal status for this already right off the bat. That's how I feel. All right, let's move on to Ace Trainer. Training trainer battles. You need 2,000 trainer battles. And I'm at 1,151. So this one is going to require all of us, myself included, to just knuckle down and get this done. And uh, when they made this easier to get gold, okay, once upon a time, because of when they did the rewards, whatever the case may be, it was impossible to get gold at once upon a time. I already had it gold prior to that, but then they changed it where everybody could get gold in this. And you know, there's some people who actually knuckle down and got to go. So now we got to knuckle down again to get platinum status for this thing right here, so keep that in mind. So, and here's a little side note. This originally debuted as Train at Gems, but in the summer of 2017, the feature was revamped to remove that feature. The medal was later reintroduced in December 2018 with the introduction of Trainer Battles. So, there's that as well. So, right before they made that battle kind of hard to reach, I already had it go. So, Trainer Battle. Yeah, gonna be knuckling down to handle those right there. Next up, cameraman. Have surprise encounters and go snapshot. And yeah, I'll be honest, you need 2,500 encounters and I'm at 163. 
So I don't really mess around with ghost snapshot like that. I don't even have this go yet. So this is another one of those scenarios where you have to just knuckle down, take those snapshots, and delete all those pictures from your phone as well. So if I were to knuckle down and do that, I could get this done by the end of 2021. If I don't knuckle down and just relax and do this at my own pace, end of 2022 without question. So it depends on what, and then of course there was a glitch involving this uh, at one of the gold festers this year. And I was not aware of this glitch, so I didn't take part in that. So you could be close to getting a platinum badge on this already. I don't know. But either way, that one go required a lot of work if you ask me. Next up, Great League Veteran. Win train a battle in the Great League. So you have to win 1,000 battles, and I'm currently at 771. So this one could go many different ways. If you have more than one account, you can battle yourself and you know grind like that until you get a thousand. If you don't have another account, then you gotta take part in Go Battle League. Well, yeah, under Great League rules or battle somebody else under Great League rules, whatever the case may be. But this one gonna take some time. I will admit, this will not be easy. This will not be easy. And it's the same amount for Ultra League and Master League. And those two are not even close. Ultra League, I'm at 200, so I barely got gold. Master League, I'm at 273. So yeah, you really have to knuckle down to get a thousand victories in all three leagues, just to get platinum in all three leagues. So yeah, that's gonna that's gonna take some time. That's going to take a lot of time. Let's move on to best buddy. Have best buddy. You need two hundred to get platinum, and I'm currently sitting on two. That one will take a lot of time. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Unless you really focus on best buddy, I don't think anybody would have a platinum medal on this joint but before the end of 2021 and that, that's me guessing i don't know i could be wrong on that but that one's gonna be hard unless you spend money on the poppin which does increase your rate with your best buddy whatever the case may be this one and i don't do that not like that anyway this one's gonna take some time so i'm not really concerned with this one at all this one of the newer medals that was introduced in the game but yeah that one is going to take some time if you ask me purifier Purify 1,000 Pokemon, and I'm currently at 214. So again, this is another one of those ones where I'm not really concerned with. I don't really purify Pokemon like this. Now, if you're somebody like Japan Lover, you might have this at a platinum status already. But for the rest of us, I don't know where you're at. Y'all might have this gold already, like uh, Spiritrain, or who knows? So I mean, even Spiritrain might have a platinum uh, medal in this already. But for the rest of us. I don't know, you know, you have to knuckle down and find the Shadow Rattatas, Shadow Weedles, if they're even still in the game, Shadow Zubats, if they're still in the game, and just purify them, because this is going to require a lot of starters, by the way. So, keep that in mind as well. I won't be focusing on that like crazy, I'll be honest. So, there's that. Next up is Hero. Defeat Tingo Rocket Grunts. Need to defeat 2,000. And I'm currently at 1,151. So this one depends on your area. If there's not a lot of Pokestops, then the chance of you finding a Team Go Rocket Grunt will be lower. Now granted, you do get the balloons, one per three hours or whatever the case, yeah, three hours. So there's that. But to really knuckle down and get this to platinum, you need Pokestops to spawn those Team Go Rocket Grunts as well. So it really depends on your area. I can probably get this done before the end of 2021. I, I would more likely get this done rather by the end of 2021. So that's Hero. Then we got Ultra Hero, which is, okay, defeat the Team Go Rocket boss, Giovanni. So yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Nobody, no, that's not happening. 50 times? Look, 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 nobody came and get it 20 times. Nobody should be, nobody should have battled Giovanni more than eight times because I battled him every single time he showed up. And at once upon a time before COVID, he was showing up once a month, but because of COVID, they put a plug, they put a stop to that. So never mind getting platinum on this. Try getting gold on this. So we don't know how, how we're gonna accomplish that. So we could just say, you know what, skip this one. Let's move on to the next one, which is Mega Evolution Guru. And this one gonna be interesting as well because you need to evolve that's an interesting number. 46. Oh, because there's 46 uh, different species of Pokemon that could be Mega Evolved. And I'm currently at 8. And I think the current number of Pokemon that can Mega Evolve in the game right now is indeed 8. So this is another one of those ones where we have to rate for more Pokemon 
with Mega Evolution capabilities be introduced in the game and things of that nature if they're not in the game already but that feature has to be active for that Pokemon so this is another one where I would look at you and say yo take it easy on that one we're not worried about that one and speaking of which successor number total Mega Evolutions you need a thousand to get that platinum status I'm not even at silver on this one and I don't make it for a Pokemon like that I don't know who does but this will require you to, you know, take part in Mega Raids, completing field researches that offer you Mega Energy, whatever the case may be. So this is another one of those ones where I would say, yo, don't try to go out and try to get a Platinum status on this one. Just kick back and chill. Wayfarer, reviewing the into Wayfarer submissions. Okay, I'm going to be honest. That one is not in the game yet. So let's take a look at this. 100 submissions will get you bronze. 75 will get you silver. A thousand which gets you gold and fifteen hundred will get you platinum and i'm gonna be honest that one's not in the game yet but i don't i don't know who's gonna do that like there's some people who do review uh, submissions and things of that nature but i personally have no clue who would actually take time and take part in that i i truly truly have no clue but let's move on rising star defeat different species of pokemon in raids so actually looking at these these are all the Pokemon or all the uh, the badges and activities that are not in the game at this point in time. Th so you talk about 2, 10, 50, 150. And I feel like everybody should have this one. I feel like uh, obviously there's not 100. You know, it, it, it's, it's weird. We'll see how this plays out. I'm not 100% sure. Then we got Triathlete. Seven day streaks completed. 1, 10, 50, 100. Okay, so for me personally, I feel like even though this... Again, this activity is not in the game yet. I feel like I have a platinum um, badge here because I be doing this all the time. I feel like a lot of, if you really keep up with it, like it depends on your area to some degree, you should either have this one completed or be close to getting that platinum um, status with that one. Let's move on. Picnicker, Pokemon card by Lure Module. 525, 500, 2500. Uh, again, this was one of the ones that died in the game, but if I were to look at this, I could probably say I'm kind of close to getting platinum. I would definitely say I would have a gold status on this one, but I would probably say no, I won't have this platinum. So this one is pretty easy as well. You can easily accomplish that. Just knuckle down, buy a lure module or seven, <laughs> and then just, you know, catch a Pokemon. So there's that. Then, of course, we got Sightseer. Visit unique Pokestops. 10, 100, 1,000, 2,000. Okay, so this one, I will be honest. If you travel a lot, you should accomplish this already. But if you don't travel a lot, then this one varies. This one could vary. And then also, this one plays in with the backpacker uh, joint where they said visit 2,000 Pokestop. Because I don't, if you look at my backpacker, I'm, again, I visit 43,509. Now the question is, how many of these are like unique? I feel like I should have this platinum status because you know, I travel, I've been to Japan, I've been to the Bahamas, I've been to Chicago, I've been to other places. Oh, Montreal, that's another one. And then of course, all them gold fesses with those uh, Pokestops as well, so that would be a factor. So I feel like I should have this platinum already. And yeah. That's where I'm at with that. And ladies and gentlemen, those are all the platinum medals that would be coming to Pokemon Go. Now again, those last four to five activities, those are not in the game yet, so they could be coming in the game as well. And it's very interesting to see where you at when it comes to these activities. Do you have uh, a certain number of platinum medals as it is right now as they're going through that list? Because looking at what you need to do to move up from level, 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 there's at least two scenarios where they say you have to have five platinum medals. And then there's another scenario where they say you have to have 10. Now, if there's one more scenario, because again, I don't know what 47 for 50 is like, but if there's a scenario where you need to have 15, I got some work to do. So I think we all will have some work to do. So keep that in mind as well. So hopefully you all are pretty far along when it comes to getting a certain number of platinum medals within your game and with that said i'm gonna call it a wrap so with all that said y'all know who this is this is boy new jack aspie aka new stephen a smith saying peace out y'all and i'll see y'all next time yeah subscribe <laughs> thanks for doing it
After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Yeah, they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes. Show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm ahead and move away.